Today is the statistical peak of hurricane season, and unusually enough, we have no tropical development expected at least for the next seven days. I'm meteorologist Haley Meyer. If we look back to last year, we were also quiet starting off September, but shortly after, the Atlantic turned into an uproar. The first storm in this series of activity was Francine. It developed as a tropical wave and eventually made landfall in Terrebonne Parish, Louisiana on September 11th as a Category 2 hurricane. Francine's damage overall was estimated at $1.3 billion. Shortly after, the worst hurricane of the season, Hurricane Helene. Helene formed from the Central American Gyre on September 24th, before peaking in intensity on September 27th. It made landfall as the most intense hurricane in the Big Bend region of Florida. While landfall caused catastrophic impacts with storm surge peaking at 15 feet near Keaton Beach, Florida, Helene will be most remembered for the devastation it caused in Appalachia. It brought intense rain that caused over 100 fatalities in North Carolina alone. Overall, Helene was responsible for at least 240 deaths and $78.7 billion in damage, making it the deadliest hurricane to strike the U.S. in 50 years, only after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Then came Milton. Milton formed in the Bay of Campeche and quickly became a Category 5 hurricane, tying for the strongest Gulf hurricane on record. Eventually, Milton made landfall on the west coast of Florida less than two weeks after Helene. One of the more standout impacts from Milton was the deadly tornado outbreak. It caused a record-breaking 45-plus tornadoes in early October, including three EF3s. The outbreak set a new state record for tornado warnings at 126 and was one of the deadliest tornado events from a tropical cyclone in the U.S. since 1995. Overall, Milton is responsible for over 45 deaths and at least $3.4 billion in damages. 2024 is a prime example of while we may have quiet periods over the course of a hurricane season, we can never fully turn our backs on the tropics.